Yesterday, I picked up the motor. Uh, it came in a nice crate, and it's an Easy Outboard L05. Oh, it looks like some nice quality parts. Even things like, like this is just a, a handle that screws on here to make it easier to pick up the, the whole thing. And it's like heavy duty stainless steel, really nicely machined. I hope all the parts are that nice. Uh, I hope all the electronic stuff is, is that good. Oh, check out the handle. So fancy. So this is the throttle control has three different modes, economy, normal, and sport. So it would be economy is low power, normal power, and full power. And one thing I noticed right away was that this entire hub rotates. Now, <clears throat> I don't know what's going on inside here, but that may mean they got around the need for rubber seals protecting electronic stuff. Because supposedly, you know, the, the electronic wires come in here and there's some electronic stuff uh, on the inside here. But then this outer part doesn't need any electronics connecting to it because it's brushless. So, yeah, there, all the uh, electronic stuff may not be protected by a rubber seal, which would greatly extend the life of something like this. I hope that's what they did. Another kind of cool thing is, uh, I don't know if you can see on the camera, I'll try to get it lined up, but this has a hole right through it, out the front, so water can pass through the middle. So not all the water has to flow around the outside, some can go through the middle, so it, it probably reduces the uh, water resistance a little bit. Probably helps keep things Keeps things cooler too. Uh, let's see. The propeller blades come in these things and screw onto the back of the, the hub there. But I'll, I'll get into all this later. All right, so I've got the motor, I've got my solar panels, and then I've got batteries. These are three 12 volt chunks and inside these boxes are 36 volt chunks so putting those together with those makes 48 volt batteries which is what the motor over there needs I think I have everything I need to get the boat like done uh, it's gonna take a bit of doing though all right the solar panel holders are like this so when it's closed the solar panels are protected on the inside and then the flaps open and then they have like sticks holding them in the right position. One side the sticks are done, the other side the sticks are not done. So I think I'll start doing those today. The ones I have to do now are more complicated than the other ones. I'll figure it out though. Okay, that's flaps. Oh, and haircut. I forgot haircut. Uh, I don't have time for a haircut. My daughter wants me to grow my hair long anyway so she can braid it. Alright, let's skip the haircut. Oh, I'm still a little wiped out from uh, driving to town yesterday, just pedaling. I didn't have to get that wiped out, but I wanted to get back faster, so I pedaled real hard. So I could hang out with my kids in the afternoon. Oh, if I get this boat together though, that's going to cut the travel time in half, maybe even less. Oh yeah, let's do it. Ugh, come on. Ugh. That side's looking good. Now I need to do something over here. Oh, I can't open that without doing the front. But some kind of hingy thing that attaches here that doesn't stick above this thing here. Because that's going to have solar panels that are going to flap close here. And I don't want them to get scratched up on some stupid hinge I put. So I need something that like recesses down into the space between these ridges and can attach to pipes over here that'll hold it in place. 
I already have the pipes. I can attach them at the bottom the same as I did on the other side. That's no problem. Just this top hinge connect. What do I do there? It's also got to be easy to connect and disconnect. You know, I was also thinking up in here, if I put a strip of foam rubber, then when this comes down, it would seal there and this would be rainproof under here. It'd be kind of like a nice little camping spot. So I have an idea. I'm going to try it on one. Definitely low profile. Oh, come on, get out of there. I need you. Alright. Hmm. No, no, I think that might be better. I guess that fits nice and snug. Oh, it actually works. Nah, I don't like it. Actually, it looks like it might be all right. All right, what I did here was I kept those same plates and just drilled a slightly bigger hole, put a fatter pin in there, and then this pipe is over the side a bit, so I have to pull it over to get it into here. And then, since it's pulling back that way, it keeps it from falling off. Like you have to pull it a decent amount this way to get it off. So it kind of locks itself in place. Huh. Well, it seems to be working pretty good. That might be a good way to do it. Hmm. Super easy to get on and off, that's for sure. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm going to go with that. And if at some point, you know, this starts getting floppy and falls off too easily, I'll make some kind of latch thing that it hooks it on. Right now, it looks like it's pretty good. Huh, yeah. Super easy. Hopefully, when I disconnect this, it goes somewhere good. Oh, beauty! Yeah, I can stay right there. Nice. 
think I might want to do something about that sagging. Oh, a nice big piece of this weird stuff. I wonder if I can get it on the edge there and attached. Took a little bit of sanding to get that fit on there snug. Sure makes a nice edge. Now how do I make it stay on there? Hmm. Apparently, if I stick a bolt here and squeeze this, it uh, squeezes that little channel shut. And now it doesn't come off. Oh, I was worried I was going to have to glue it on. Mechanical connection is much better. Oh, yeah. Just a little bit of sag in there now. And since it's metal, I can, you know, bend it up this way a little. Although, that's good. Oh, looks like it's staying on pretty well, too. Good. And it took up so little space, I should still be able to get the solar panel on there, no problem. Oh, holy cow, it's hot out right now. Man, it sure is nice under the shade. I need to go do that other one. Hmm. All right, into the hot sun we go. Should be pretty good back there. So since this has to come in like that and that has to go in like that to attach, uh, I made this telescoping, telescopic, so that this can get in there and then this can get in there and it spreads and actually holds them in place because this is a little bit stiff. And I put it on the inside because this is the side of the boat that's mostly gonna have to aim down because usually the sun's on that side just based on where I go so yeah with this on this side it should it shouldn't interfere with that at all it'll interfere a little bit it'll prevent them from going up but I'll just I'll just have to see how much it gets in the way of that I might have to limit how far I can tip these panels up to accommodate this but I almost never do that anyway if it becomes a problem ever, I can change it to something else. All right, front one, let's see. Hmm, this front panel up here, ah, it came out more rigid than the other ones. I must've put more fiberglass on it. So maybe it doesn't need anything. I'll wait till I uh, get the solar panels on here and see if that added weight makes it bow anymore. Because right now it's fine. So I think I can skip that one for now. This one back here is the one that was really flexing a lot. A little bit of flex is fine. Hmm, can I just rivet those solar panels on there? I think that's probably gonna be what I do. You know, because I have rivets. We end today's broadcast with a special announcement for the experts out there. I know guys, I'm doing it wrong again. Luckity luck 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 luckity luck 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 lu